It's been a while, 44 days since I last published a video. This past month, I've been home only for a few days, so I wasn't able to make any videos, but here's a quick one for you. And the next video will be a walkthrough of using the M32C in a real situation. So this is a request from one of you people who watch my videos, how to send a channel directly from the main left right, how to send it out of the monitor, how to add reverb to that channel that is coming out of the main left right, how to hear that reverb out of the monitor, just a quick video without wading through all the possibilities. And I'm your guy for that. And I'm also gonna show you how to do this on the mixing station app because why not? You can literally use your phone and I'll talk about that in a later video. First point, how to make the vocal on channel one go out of the main left right it's that way by default but if it isn't you're gonna select the channel unmute it raise the fader of the channel then go to the main tab and make sure that the main stereo button is turned on because if it's off no matter where the fader is the signal will not go to the main left right okay so just make sure the main stereo button is turned on and this channel is going to the main left right and where is the main left right going to? You go to the routing and go to the out 1 to 16 page. And by default, it will go out of output 15 and 16. Main left, main right. If you're using the smaller compact console, it will be output 7 and 8. So you make sure that output 7 has the main left and output 8 has the main right. And that's it. Audio is going from the channel to your speakers. Same thing in mixing station. Raise the fader of the channel, make sure it's unmuted. Then you can click on it go to the main tab and make sure that the left right button is turned on and to check for the outputs you're gonna click on the arrows up and down and go to the output routing you have your outputs output 15 will be main left output 16 will be main right if you're using the smaller console it will be output 7 main left output 8 main right how to make the vocal of channel 1 come out of the monitor one channel 1 click on the first bus now you're in sends on faders. You just have to raise the fader of that channel and you're sending it to that bus. But you still have to make sure that this bus is going to the correct speaker. So how do you do that? Get out of the sends on faders and go to the routing again. In the out page, make sure that mix bus number one is going out of output number one. And that will be the XLR output on your console or it will be the XLR output on your stage box. And you can check that from the AS50 page. By default, the outputs of your stage box are taking the signal from the out page. So whatever is on the out page, it's the same on your stage box by default. Okay, cool. Let's do that in mixing station. This is a channel that I want to send to monitor one. So I'll click here and choose bus number one and click sends on faders and send it to that bus number one. Get out of sends on faders, check the routing, up and down arrows, output routing. And I want output one to be taking the signal from bus number one. And now that first bus is going out of the XLR output on my console or the XLR output on my stage box. And you can check that on the AS50A page by default it takes the signal from the out page third point how to add reverb to the vocal coming out of the main left right it's similar to the previous points because effects are sends and returns so you're going to select the first effects bus or whatever effects bus you're using and send that channel raise the fader of that channel to be sent to that bus and on effect number one i have a reverb now the sound from this channel is going into the effect but you also need to get it back from the effect to be able to hear it in your mix or on your speaker so how do you check for that you go to the the aux effects page and I'm gonna get out of the sends on faders because if you're in the sends on faders and you raise the faders of effects returns you will send it to itself and it will create a feedback loop you don't want that so always make sure to get out of the sends on faders here you go these are the effects returns so these are whatever is coming out of the effects unit we already sent this channel to this effects bus and that effects bus is going into the effects unit and what's coming out of the effects unit is going into the effects returns, which are these ones. So just make sure they are unmuted and the faders are up. And in the main tab, you have to have the main stereo button turned on. If this is off, they will not go to the main left and right and you will not hear the reverb in your main speakers. So make sure this is on. That's it. Let's do that in mixing station. Click on the bus button right here and select the effects bus. In this case, they are not named effects one, effects two because I'm not connected to the console, but it will be 13, the first effects bus. So I'm gonna click on it, sends on faders, and I'm gonna send that channel, raise the fader to send it to that effects bus. That is the bus that I'm sending to. And where do I receive it from? I receive it from the effects returns. Make sure to turn off the sends on faders. Always, otherwise you will be sending it to itself and you'll create a feedback loop. And that is the effects return number one. 
Also, it's not linked because I'm not connected to the console. It doesn't matter right now. Click on it and go to the main tab and make sure that the main left right is turned on. For that effects return to go out of your speakers. Add reverb to the vocal that is coming out of the monitor. That's simple enough. We already have reverb going on and it's going to the main left right. We just need to send that same reverb to the monitor. So just click on the monitor bus. You'll get into sends on faders and raise the faders of that effects returns. And now it is being sent to the monitor. Same thing in mixing station. You will go to the bus and select the monitor bus, which is bus number one in this case, and hit sends on faders and send the effect return number one to that monitor bus. And here you go, you have reverb in your bus. Now, if you want a different reverb, you're gonna have to send the channel to a different effects bus. It's very simple. Choose a different bus and send that channel to it. And instead of sending effects returns number one that you're using to the main left right, you're gonna send effects returns number two to that monitor. So click on bus, go to monitor one and send on faders. And I'm gonna send the effects returns number two. And now I have a different reverb for the monitor. And how do you choose your effect and mixing station? First of all, get out of sends on faders. This is really important. Go to effects on the top, click and hold, and that will open the menu to choose your effects. I'm gonna choose this effect. Same thing in the enter to edit app. I'm gonna send this first channel to a different effects bus, send it get out of the sends on faders and then I'm gonna send that other effects returns to the monitor. So click on the monitor bus and send effects returns number two. Now I have the different reverb but there's one more important thing you need to do and it is to remove these effects returns channels from the main left right. So you're gonna select them, go to the main tab and turn off the main stereo button. That's very important because you're only using that for the monitor. And if you keep it on the main left right, now you have two reverbs on the main left right. You may want that or you may not want that. So in case you just want a reverb that is for the monitors, remove it from the main left right. If you also want it on the main left right, then keep it. And in mixing station, you're gonna go to that effects returns, click on it and go to the main tab and turn off the left right button. That's how you do it. Anything else? That's it. Now, if you want extra details, details on things that I've talked about. I'll link other videos in the description. And in the next video, I'll show you how I used my M32C for a church youth conference only using my phone with mixing station, nothing else. So click on one of the videos on the screen right now and I'll see you in the next video.